Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of my Super Mario Sunshine playthrough. In the last episode, I got the majority of the shines I still needed to collect in Pianta Village, and we sorted out the flooded town problem. We've now also got enough shines that we can complete the game, but we're not going to do that quite yet. In this episode, oh boy, I am very scared about this episode because I'm going to tackle one of the two infamously difficult missions of this game. But first of all, we're going to go get the 100 coin shine. And then, well, I'm in for a rough time, let's say. So for this one, you want to go to episode 5. It is the only level in the whole of Pianta Village that you can actually complete the 100 coins in. It is actually quite tricky for new players because, well, it doesn't really... There isn't actually a lot of coins that you can collect. You've got to be very careful. But for an experienced player, this one's not too bad. Well, I'm not showing that I'm an experienced player, am I? And, pardon about my nose, it's just really stuffy today. Uh, we have to go back anyway, so I can just get those on the lead. Go around. You've got to be careful though, you do not want to run out of water. If you do, then you will pretty much... Well, you're basically stuck down here, because you need flood to get across all the mushrooms. Uh, do I? I will get both of those lives. I'm going to need them. I know I've got 40 something at the moment, but I'm going to need those. Because my lives are about to go down here very quickly. I wouldn't be surprised if I actually end up with less than 10 lives at the end of what I'm going to do. Yes, it's that difficult of a mission. Uh, not that one though, every time I try for that one I win, don't I? Okay. So there's the majority of your coins, being 40 and all, and you may think, what do I do next? Okay. Leave me alone. There aren't any coins in the boxes either. Yoshi wanted a coconut. Actually, we'll get some of these coins over here first. If it would do the jump I want. Okay, good. I still got the three. If you jump on it wrong, you only get one. What? I clearly learned on you. Yeah, that's what happens if you jump on it incorrectly. I only got one rather than three. But it's fine. As long as you get at least ten coins between these enemies, you should be fine. I need you to get back up. Otherwise, you're only giving me one. How am I not getting the... Okay, I clearly landed on his head. There we go. And it only gave me one. Damn it. Well, I've had... No, I've had eight. I need to get three from you. Okay, good. I'm fine now. Yep, I've got 50. I'm completely fine now. Just give me a moment, actually. Okay, sorry about that brief pause. Uh, basically, I needed to blow my nose because it was being painful. Well, not painful, but it was just being annoying. Uh, Yoshi wanted a coconut. Right, 
We need to get as many of these as we can. Where's the last? Oh, well, that's the blue coin B, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and then the last one should have the remaining thirty, but just be careful because it's very easy to uh, to get thrown off the level here. So of course, get the free first. And again, make sure you get all. Case in point, just, I'm being bullied by one single B. There we go. Okay, that was scary. Right, go over here. Sure, what happened? I guess I went too far away. Give me my coin. Oh, I've just lost this, haven't I? Can you stop diving me over, game? Yeah, there's not enough. Oh, wait, no, there is. I know where the last few are. Come on. No, I'm completely fine. I can get some from here. I was worried then, I thought I'd missed too many. Well, I would get those coins if the game would let me ground pound the numbers. There we go. Got it. And luckily, it's right there. Well, I might have to, uh go about Yoshi, because I would hate to die. Okay, never mind. Yoshi can join us. Alright, so that took about seven minutes. Not terrible. Right. Now, let's go for the mission I'm scared of. I've got 45 lives. Let's see how many I leave the mission with. And let me tell you, I am... Really not looking for. I was really not looking forward to this one. And with that, now we're now. With that, um, I should probably get another coin. I don't want to run to look like full, full health. But with um, that shine sprite, we have now collected every single shine in the main levels. All that remain are in Delphi and the Cloud. So that means I can finally start collecting blue coins. And we're going to start with this one here. Right, so for this one we want to find a boat. I think it's that one there. But you see where there's a coin hidden there? That is a secret level, and there's a couple of these around Delfino Plaza. But this is the first one that I'm doing, and the main reason is I just really want this mission out the way. Quite honestly, because... It's, it's a very difficult one. It's what I consider the second hardest shine in the whole game. So, welcome to the Pachinko Machine. So, what is the problem with this one? It's very glitchy. Basically, there's eight red coins. You have to Pachinko Mario into them. Easier said than done, and I somehow missed one in the starting bit. I'm not sure how I did that. And I missed it again.
Okay, that one is the hardest one by far. Gen that coin is very tricky. And I died, trying to get the second hardest one. The ones at the bottom are very tricky. And for some reason, Mario will just constantly make a load of, like, clucking noise whenever he falls to the bottom. But I'm trying to get the hardest coins first, because I know if I get 7 out of 8, and that's the last one I need, I'm just gonna die. And yes, you take a lot of fall damage in this level as well, because that's another thing they really needed. Okay, well that's not the one I was trying for, but it's a win because I needed it. I don't know how I keep missing one in the, the starting bit. Whoa, that was weird. Um, you're not supposed to slide down like that, by the way. Okay, I've got six out of eight now, but the problem is I've still got that other tricky one. Right, seven out of eight. I usually get about five before I die on this level. I've quite often died with six, I've quite often died with seven. Okay. Well, that's fine, I didn't die. I'd rather land in that than die, of course. Uh, trying to get into that last one is very tricky, because you have to hover. I'm trying to save my hovering to the end if I can, so that I can save myself if need be. You want to hold to the left as well. Oops. Yep, I knew it. That's a problem when you hover beforehand. This time I overshot it. If I can get both of the bottom ones, I'm fairly confident I can do it, but... Yeah, like I've said, this level is very tricky, it's very glitchy as well, because the momentum doesn't work the way that you want it to. Okay, that's not the one I was trying for. That one's the easiest one, that one's basically a freebie, you just have to enter the thing and not do anything. That's the one I tried to get last, because basically you just have to not press any buttons for that one. Okay, I'm trying to get the bottom one again. I want that one out the way. That one is always awful. Okay. Alright, nice, I got it. Now I've just got to get the other tricky one I always struggle with. For this one, you just want to hold left. Okay, where am I going? Oh, I got it! Nice! Okay. Right, I need one more. Okay. When you get all eight, you're not out the woods yet. The shine appears frustratingly back in the pachinko machine, and the number of times I've seen someone get all eight coins and try to get the shine, but still die. Let me tell you, it is so annoying. Okay, I didn't die, that's the important thing, but I did not land where the shine is. Of course it's right in the middle, but the good thing is it's actually easier to get the stuff in the middle. It's harder to get the stuff at the edges. You are kidding me. That is exactly what I was afraid of. I should have just jumped. That is exactly what I was scared would happen. That is the thing that happens to so many people who play this game. And of course, I've now joined the group that it has happened to. This is why I do not like this level. Because you can get all eight of the coins, just need to collect the shine, but because this is a glitchy mess of a level, that happens. They didn't fix this in 3D All-Stars, by the way. This level is just as bad in that game as well as it is in this one. And this is why... 
Okay, I can't move. Okay, that was worrying. I thought I would stop. But this is why. This is one of the most hated levels in this game, and for good reason. If it worked correctly, it wouldn't be hated, but because it's such a glitchy mess... Okay, got the hardest one. Now I just need to get the other one I keep struggling to get. Oh yeah, and there's also been a time where I've seen someone go into one of the, the pocket things where the red coin is, and then they just fall out of it, so they don't even get the coin. No, I've got no momentum. What the heck? It won't even let me move. I had no momentum there, it was all going the wrong way. I was pushing left and I was still going right. I guess I need to have my back face to it because that's the way it lets me move. I'm stuck. Okay. There's eight again, but let's hope the same thing doesn't happen that it happened before. But yeah, this level makes me so nervous. Oh yeah, and this isn't even the level I was most or most worried about. There's another one I'm just as equally scared about. No, too much momentum, and then I had none of when I needed it. I really wish they didn't put the shine in the middle. That's the other thing that just makes this level even more annoying, is the fact that they can't have just let you get the shine after you complete this horrible, glitchy mess of a level. Oh great, I'm on the... Yes! Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, I do not have to do this level again. Unless my recording glitches, which it better not. Okay, I don't know how many lives I lost there, I think four, five, but, okay, I got about four minutes left, let's go clean one of the bells. Right, this takes a while to clean. It doesn't matter where you spray it, it still takes the same amount of time. And there we have it. Getting this shine is actually quite challenging. And yes, you need the rocket nozzle for this. Yeah, and that's the main reason. You just slide straight back up. Oh, I missed. There we go, I got it. Right, I'm gonna get one more shine, and it's only because this one is super quick and easy. And then I'm going to call it an episode, because I really want to not have to do the Pachinko Machine again. This one, you just need a turbo nozzle. Just go in here. Easy. One of the quickest shines in the whole game to get. But anyways, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching, and hope you enjoy the rest of your day.